Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shankar De. Welcome to the NEET PG recall session discussion video number 13. So this is 13th video of mine starting with question number 141. The patient with ulceration on steroid, sorry, articaria. So patient with articaria on steroid therapy, bronchoalveolar lavage is showing larval parasite. So what is the diagnosis? So this is very typical questions, articaria steroid therapy with lung involvement and bronchoalveolar lavage is showing intact larval parasite. So this is nothing but strongoloides infection. So strongo, strongoloides infection. Strongoloides sarcoloides infection is this. Next question number 142, child with bloody stools enrichment media is to be used for this case so child with bloody stool is there there is very less mucus mainly it is bloody stool actually this is was the case was about a dysentery that was uh, not amoebic dysentery that was bacillary dysentery so bacillary dysentery caused one of the common causes shigella so for shigella Selenite a broth is used for selenite a broth is used as enrichment media. So this liquid media selenite a broth or tetrathionate broth is used, but the option given was selenite a broth. So for child with bloody stool, enrichment media to be used is selenite a broth. Next, patient of a child presented with conjunctivitis. Next few days later. There is buccal mucosa color change, I think blue color change were there. Then the child develops rash. This is the typical presentation or sequence of events in case of measles. So this is nothing but measles. So the question was about organism genome. What type of genome? The options were like single stranded RNA envelope, single stranded RNA naked virus, double stranded RNA envelope or naked four options were there the answer will be single stranded rna envelope so ssrna and virus is enveloped virus so this is measles virus envelope next coming to the question number 144 child in eg showing birth suppression and child had history of fever with rest at one year of age so what is the diagnosis this is actually this can this may be history of measles and following that child develop some myoclonic seizures, some myoclonic seizure and EEG is showing birth suppression. So this is typical of SSP, subsclerosing pan encephalitis. And what is the diagnosis? Uh, what will be the choice of investigation? According to national level faculties, they are telling this is measles measles IgG I don't know whether it is correct or not national level faculties are telling this should be the uh, correct answer for this question let's coming to the question number 145 uh, 24 friends had some dinner party and among them two had pastry last night uh, among 24 only two friends had pastry last night and they had developed nausea vomiting diarrhea so this is nothing but food poisoning so food poisoning food poisoning history only those two friends who had pastry last night commonly this is early food poisoning time gap is very less so this is mainly caused by bacteria like bacillus cereus or staphylococcus a staphylococcus in this case it is probably staph so following pastry staph aureus is the most common organism and the toxin responsible is enterotoxin following pastry uh, ingestion no, early symptoms of food poisoning occurs maybe due to staph aureus with uh, enterotoxin next coming to question number 146 burn patient 70 percent body surface area burn obligate aerob organism and the organism is showing following result this is nothing but oxidase test so 
oxidase test is positive for this organism this is actually pseudomonas so pseudomonas infection is very common so pseudomonas aeruginosa in burn patient it is obligate anaerobe and oxidase positive so this is the answer pseudomonas aeruginosa oxidase positive obligate anaerobe next coming to question 147 uh, serology test standard acclusion test of brucella was negative a normal concentration of serum but it was positive after dilution of serum so this is because of antibody excess this phenomena is called prozone phenomena this topic was take from immunology so prozone phenomena so this is nothing but prozone phenomenon so i think it is clear it is because of antibody excess in normal dilution and the test was negative in normal concentration but after diluting the sample it become positive next coming to question 148 patient with fever splenomegaly and pancytopenia biopsy is showing macrophage with kinetoplast or something ld bodies so this is nothing but the kalazar or visceral leishmaniasis so diagnosis but the question was asked vector indirect it was very long question clinical actually i am discussing this question starting from question number 120 these are were very long questions i am just putting the clinical clinchers or the key points so that you can easily understand the clinical core knowledge of the questions given so it is diagnosis is kalajar and the indirect question was what is the vector vector is sandfly so sandfly is the vector for kalajar so this is the answer for this question sandfly next coming to the question number 149 following kerala flood and uh, the epidemiologists uh, are concerned about the public health they started doxycycline prophylaxis to the community along with that one substance is given to the community and the which uh, this is that substance that to be answered so the options were like paris green zinc phosphide or something like that so i think uh, according to national faculties this this is for prophylaxis of leptospirosis so leptospirosis prophylaxis and leptospirosis prophylaxis ke liye kya dena chahiye that is zinc phosphide rat killer poison so according to national level faculties the answer should be zinc phosphide or rat killer poison okay zinc phosphide next question uh, thigh soiling is present thigh soiling uh, thigh present soiling biopsy is showing sheet larva with no nuclei so as you all know uh, sheet larva suppose um, this is larval n and this is the sheet and suppose this is larval n this is sheet and when two nuclei is present at the end then this is called this is called which this is actually brugia mali when no nucleus is present then it is when no nucleus is present then it is it is probably likely to be ulcerative bankruptcy so this is lymphatic filariasis for ulcerative bankruptcy so the diagnosis will be ulcerative bankruptcy it was very long case with clinical scenario based question like a man presented with thigh swelling no other symptoms i think no other symptoms were there and on biopsy larva was found that was sheath with no nuclei at the end so this was actually ulcerative bankruptcy for lymphatic filariasis next history of inguinal bubo was there vector asked long question was it was long question but uh, clincher was inguinal bubo and the vector for this case is nothing but xeno xenopsila so this is the answer next question number 152 mid diastolic murmur it was long question but clinical clincher main to clinical clincher mid diastolic murmur and prominent here you know mid diastolic murmur can be seen in ms uh, or mitral stenosis also in tricuspid stenosis but the prominent wave is telling it is more likely to be a case of mitral stenosis no this is not mitral stenosis this is probably to be a case of tricuspid stenosis 
so the answer for this question try cuspid stenosis is the answer valvular pathology a clinical question long question was there with mid diastolic murmur or prominent area these two are the best clinical possible clinical clinches to diagnose the case next 153 diagnose actually this was not the actual image that was given actually the image that was given was not available in the google i could not find it if you find it please uh, do post in my comment section or anywhere so um, actually this was controversial question some people are telling this is urinary bladder cancer now some faculties are telling some faculties are telling this is malacoplakia actually nobody knows what the exact image that was given the national level faculties are predicting that this can be the uh, probable image that was given but they actually don't know what image was given and the actual image is not available in the google hi so i don't know what is the actual answer but there was huge confusion between urinary bladder cancer and malacoplakia so do comment in the comment section what is the right answer and if you find out the image of the image that was given in the exam please let me know next question number 154 uh, gorakhpur gorakhpur in acute encephalitis syndrome in gorakhpur following that a public health officer started mass immunization and the type of vaccine that is given is i think this is Uh, acute encephalitis syndrome following je japanese encephalitis vaccine is for japanese so it's a live in the live vaccine and for subcutaneously given next question number 155 high patient of uh, scc lung or squamous cell carcinoma lung patient island lip nodes less than 1 cm black in color what is the cause for this black color lymph node the options were like melanin or anthracotic pigment lipochrome so definitely black color is anthracotic pigment so anthracotic pigment because in case of anthracosis lung carcinoma is so common in case of pneumoconiosis like anthracosis so this can be anthracotic pigment okay or uh, commonly found in coal workers coal workers so then glaucoma with asthma patient of glaucoma with asthma drug of choice i think many options are there they are latanoprost or aptraclonidin those options are there uh, national level faculties are telling this uh, answer should be latanoprost answer should be latanoprost just one reminder i may be wrong to explain the answer of some questions because i don't know also the actual answer so if you know and if i am wrong please do let me know in the comment section in the one image based question over there i have not downloaded the image one ophthalmoscopic image with some exudates it was hard exudate hard exudate an option was soft exudate in hypertension hard exudate in diabetes so it is hard exudent in diabetes mellitus okay next question was 150 12 year old myopic astigmatism patient non compliant for spectacles so what will be the other management i don't know national according to national level factor it is icl intra uh, intracapsular lens i think icl next uh, anesthesiologist could not be able to extubate a patient after completion of surgery and uh, some features of obstructions and patient is developing cyanosis so anesthesiologist is not was not able to extubate the and patient is developing cyanosis so what is common cause and there is features of some respiratory discomfort so this may be due to bilateral recurrent laryngeal nerve palsy so this is the correct answer for this question inability to extubate after operation and patient is developing cyanosis and respiratory discomfort mitomycin c topical uh, use was asked uh, what is the action? topical use i think one option was there laryngeal stenosis laryngeal 
stenosis or subglottic stenosis any i don't i forgot so yeah, i think laryngeal stenosis was there so this is the answer for mitomycin c topical use so i think this is very clear to you question number 141 in the next video we are going to discuss question number 161 to 180 stay tuned for the next video don't forget to subscribe my channel dr shankar De. i have already discussed 180 question 160 question please go through all the videos share the videos and maximally subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching